Hey there, today I got this ube mochi pancake and waffle mix from Trader Joe's and I'm going to be trying it today. Here's the nutrition facts. Note, I didn't know this, but pancakes are kind of salty. There's a lot of sodium in them, and obviously there are a lot of carbs in this. Here's the back of the box. It's a really easy recipe actually. All you need is this mix, water, eggs, and oil or butter. They give you a little history lesson on the ube part of the pancake. Well first you gotta preheat the griddle. I put it on medium. You grab your bowl and then you just dump all of the ube mochi ingredients and sniff it. it smells like vanilla ice cream. <laughs> Here are the ingredients. So you just add, starting with the eggs, crack them into the flour. Number one. And get that all stirred up. This is three tablespoons of butter because we're doing the entire package. We got one cup of water. And you mix it up and it easily starts to stick together. And this is it! And then we placed some dollops onto the griddle. It was kind of hard because it would stick to my spoon and I'm not sure if I was supposed to just let it sit like a mound but I decided to use the back and spread it out a little like a normal pancake but I did notice they started to expand and I think that was okay to just leave them in mounds and now it's time to taste them okay here we have it we're gonna eat and try this. I'm gonna be sophisticated and try this one. It's more like a snack. I would advise to eat it when it's hot because it's like super sticky now. And it's mochi. Okay, I'm doing this for all you sugar lovers out there. I'm gonna make the sugary thing extra sugary. Because why not? It's not that sweet. It's pretty sweet. It's sweeter no, than the it's that whip. sweet. You can really tell this is yeah, it's pretty it's pretty sticky. Like mochi. It's really good. Sorry, I just thought anyways what I want to do is Ooh. coconut milkiness. I prefer the syrup. Yeah, I'll go with the syrup too. What is this thing? Okay, now we're going to try it with bananya, which is just going to basically be mochi bananya. I'm going to make a sandwich. Put some syrup. Indian breakfast taco right here. Put this maybe more closer to the edge. Hold it. Wow. That's pretty good. Not bad, right? To me, the hardest parts are the technical parts. Like the parts where you pour the batter onto the skillet. One thing I didn't like was that it didn't just spread on its own. It just made like a heaping pile of pancakes batter, <clears throat> which I, uh, it was easily fixable, but to me, that's not easy. Eh, I'd work for it though, it's pretty good. You know, unbutton your pants and lean back. I could probably just grab one of these to go. Be like, have a good day at work. And then, done. Oh, that'd be, that'd be. You know, I'm wondering if we get these people, I mean, get everybody to buy these, they won't stop making them. Because I heard they're limited quantities. Fact. I was thinking we could make like a McGriddle or something. Not injecting mm. the syrup inside, but like put like eggs and stuff and make a sandwich. They put sausage. Yeah. Or bacon. And oh, dude, eggs let's do and that. Cheese. 
a lot easier to eat with your hands. I know. I'll try to do that. <laughs> ah! No! Keep that in the uh, video. <laughs> I'm just being myself, sorry. No, but it is good. That's why I gotta cook it. I'm starting it. For the bananas? Didn't you like it? Mm -mm. Oh. It just makes it turn into a smoothie, basically, in your mouth. I'm Who's full. gonna eat the last one? Oh, there you go. What? We gotta take her. It touched my uvula and I got scared. <laughs> <coughs> you don't have a little fight in you? That's not healthy. <laughs> yeah, I need more syrup. One out of ten. Ten cake wise? One out of ten. Ted being best. Mm. <clears throat> I'd say it's 8.5. Or it's better. But if it's like talking about just the, the dough itself and no condiment stuff on top, I'd say it's a because I'm saving that 10 for something. Oh, yeah. What do you think? As a pancake, I'd say it's not that great. But when I want a pancake, it needs to be light, fluffy, like a coal house. But this is definitely better than like, I not Ikea, um, IHOP. And Denny's, or McDonald's. Which, those are the only type of pancake I had. It was like in a box saying Aunt Jemima's. And, um, yeah. But, for ube taste, this thing is awesome. It's not that light, so you can really taste it, which I like, because some things that are ube flavored are so light you really can't taste it. And then the mochi texture, it actually is pretty mochi-ish. It's good. I would buy it again. Definitely would. Sadly, we ate an entire box together. It says that you're supposed to only have two pieces. Yeah. One four piece inch. each. Two pancakes that are four inches. That's not four. It's like... I don't think we uh, accomplished much because there's still a pancake there. And I thought this was a mukbang. Wow! What? You're, you're, I don't know, to me that would have touched like the back of my throat. He has a lot of space in there, guys. There it is. Our review on the Ube Mochi Trader Joe's Pancake Mix. Awesome. I'd say it's a buy. That's just my opinion. And we'll see you next time.